Happy Easter, everyone. Oh, I hope you're having a great day. I'm so excited that we get to celebrate Easter. And I'm a little sad we don't get to actually be together, but that doesn't stop us from getting to celebrate Jesus and Easter today. So last week, you guys read a really kind of a sad story about Jesus. Do you remember what happened to Jesus? That's right. He died on the cross. Oh, that was such a hard, sad story. But today, we're going to get to read another story that's a lot happier. So we're going to read it together today. So I want you to go grab your Bibles. And we're going to open up to the story. It's called A Happy Sunday. So if you don't have your Bibles with you, just pause this video real fast um, and go grab your Bible and open up to this page. It's page 338. It's going to be a happy Sunday, and we're going to read it all together. All right. Everybody got their Bible open? You guys are so great at following along in your Bibles. All right. Let's start our story. A happy Sunday. Sunday morning, some women went to the bury to put burial spices on Jesus's body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. How do you think they're gonna move it? Hmm, let's see, turn the page. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus's body was gone. And there were angels in the tomb. These are angels. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go and tell the disciples. Wow. All right. So I want all of us. We're going to stop for just a second. We're going to scream, Jesus is alive, because it's so exciting. All right. So we're going to do it all together. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus is alive. Oh, that's so awesome, isn't it? Let's turn the page. The woman told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial cloths. They went back home confused. Hmm. Turn the page. Later, the disciples gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when, who do you think, Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought it, he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and my feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either. But I'm feeling very hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. How cool is that? All right, turn your page. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Oh, what a cool story. Let's look at our question here. It says, what did the women find when they went to the tomb? You guys remember at the beginning of this story, they were looking for Jesus' body, but was it in the tomb? No, right? And why wasn't it in, in the tomb? That's right, because Jesus was alive, right? So that gives us such great hope. And really, when I think about that, I want to throw a party. So here's what I'd love for you guys to do today is to throw a party, throw an Easter party to celebrate that Jesus is alive. So I have a party hat. Do you guys ever wear party hats? Maybe at birthdays 
And I just wrote, Jesus is alive on my hat. And I get to wear it and celebrate how much Jesus loves us. That he came back to live. That he is alive. So I hope you guys get to celebrate that. Have fun this week celebrating that Jesus is alive. Hope you have an awesome week. We love you. We miss you. And can't wait to see you in a few weeks.